water shapes the surface of our planet and supports all life. Water in abundance separates Earth from its neighbors. Mars is a frozen desert. Venus is dry and blazing hot. No water flows on the moon. Then there's Earth. It's often called the Blue Planet. From space, we see that most of our planet's surface, nearly 71%, is covered in water. From out here, Earth appears calm and still. But Earth's water is constantly moving, shifting between solid, liquid, and vapor. It moves between sky and surface and deep into the ground beneath our feet. Satellites capture the big picture. Water vapor flowing around the globe, pushing from the equator toward the poles. Where warm, moist air rises to meet cold air, swirling white clouds form. Water vapor transforms itself into droplets or ice crystals and falls to earth as rain or snow. In this 12-month sequence, snow cover comes and goes. Tropical areas green up, then turn brown as precipitation changes with the seasons. In the world's oceans, huge ocean rivers move around the globe. Heading toward the poles, returning to the tropics. Moving in an endless cycle, these currents help regulate the Earth's climate. Water is on the move, even deep beneath the Earth's surface. There may be many times as much water locked up in the minerals that make up Earth's mantle as there is in all the world's oceans. The water-bearing minerals in Earth's mantle makes rock more elastic under heat and pressure. That allows continents to move, causing volcanoes, earthquakes, and the rise of new mountain ranges. Earth has a vast amount of water, but how much is suitable for human use? The oceans hold 97% of Earth's water. It's too salty for our needs. The remaining 3% is fresh water, but two thirds of that is locked up in glaciers, ice caps, permafrost, and deep underground. What's left is not evenly distributed across the planet. This animation points to places in the world where fresh water supplies are inadequate for the human populations living there. Frequent water shortages in these areas affect not just people, but numerous species of plants and animals that need fresh water to live. Human demands on water, a precious and limited resource, are growing. 
Experts predict that by 2025, over 2.4 billion people will live without adequate supplies of fresh water. Most of the demand for fresh water comes from industry and agriculture. This map shows where crops are raised around the world. The darker the color, the more land is devoted to producing crops. Agriculture represents an astounding 70% of human freshwater use. This animation shows the growth of human populations from nearly 1 billion people in 1800 to over 6.5 billion today. At night, city lights pinpoint our densest population centers. Collective choices about how we use water do have a global impact. Water is the foundation for all life on Earth. We can choose to protect it so that generations to come may also appreciate the magnificence of our water planet.